Laura Nickerson giving you the buzz on local news and events. It's the Calabasas Classic and runners old and young from all over the valley are out here to get their marathon on. So let's check it out while I fill you in on the buzz. These are the two people who make the Calabasas Classic happen. Patty, what goes into planning this event? Um, wow, a whole lot. A lot more than I had anticipated. It is my first year being race director. I've been on the board for four years, and um, I could not do it without Anne Marie, Jenna, Brandon, and the entire AHCCC staff. Um, and this year, it has been amazing to have Cowell Banker Calabasas be our title sponsor. It's the first year we've had a title sponsor, so we're really appreciative of that. Speaking of Coldwell Banker, I think you might know one or two things about that. What brought you into the Calabasas Classic this year? Patty Mardell. Um, what a coincidence. Yeah, uh, she, uh, she brought it to our attention and um, we very quickly reacted and we just love being a part of the community and this was a great opportunity to be involved with the community and uh, you know get, get some awareness going and here we are. Debbie is here as part of a really incredible organization. Tell us about Cookies for Kids Cancer. Cookies for Kids Cancer is a grassroots organization and uh, we raise money for pediatric cancer research. And we have hosts all over the United States who have bake sales or run in 5K runs or really do anything they want to raise money for pediatric cancer research. And you're donating quite a bit of your proceeds today, correct? Yes. Well, Cookies for Kids for Kids Cancer donates their proceeds. 85% goes to pediatric cancer research and everything we raise from this event will go. That's so incredible. Now, do you find that people are more willing to buy a cookie after they've run a 5K? <laughs> they're not always willing to buy a cookie, but they're always willing to donate. Sounds fair enough to me. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It's a beautiful day here in Calabasas, perfect for running. Kind of makes you appreciate all the city has to offer. If you want to learn more about what the city has going on, check out the State of the City Address. Mayor Mary Sue Maurer will be presenting the 20th annual Calabasas State of the City Address on Tuesday, November 14th at Founders Hall. Check-in will begin at 6.30 and the speech starts at 7 p.m. To RSVP or ask questions about this free event, contact Anita Mayer at 818-224-1607. She'll be talking about the year in review and what her hopes are for the year to come. Can't make it in person? Don't worry about it. We'll replay it right here on CTV. Bong bong. Bong bong. Come on, have you ever watched a cop show on the TV or in a movie and wondered what a real sheriff station is like? Well, lucky for you, you can go to the Malibu Lost Hills Sheriff Station's open house. The Malibu Lost Hill Sheriff Station is holding their open house on Saturday, November 18th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The event will feature displays and interactive activities with the Sheriff Department, including the Sheriff K-9, SWAT Team, Helicopter, Bomb Squad, and so much more. For information, call 818-878-1808. It's free and so much fun, and you'll realize that a real Sheriff Station is basically nothing like what you see on TV. Bong bong. And in local news, the city of Calabasas has hired a contractor to build a new center median on Malibu Hills Road, east of Lost Hills Road. This is part of the citywide Green Streets project in which sustainable concepts are introduced to the construction of medians. For more information, contact Alec Ferrisati at 818-224-1680. At their November 7th meeting, the Environmental Commission reviewed art submissions made by local students who entered a contest to be made into the 2018 calendar. This year's theme is Food Recycling, Yes You Can, Ideas for Reducing Food Waste. Winner is coming your way soon. There'll be a closure of the 101 freeway I want to tell you about. It's on the north and south bow sides on the same night from Los Virginis Road on the south to Liberty Canyon Road on the north side. The full freeway closure will start at 1 a.m. on Tuesday, November 14th through Friday, November 17th, as well as Monday, November 20th. The traffic will be opened again at 5 a.m. that same morning. This is part of the Lost Hills Interchange Project in the city of Calabasas. After the portion of the new bridge has been opened, it's necessary to demolish the existing bridge so that the second part of the new bridge could be built. And that's our local news. Ho, ho, ho! Who's up for pancakes with Santa?
Bring the family to a pancake breakfast, crafts, and holiday cheer on Saturday, December 2nd from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the Calabasas Tennis and Swim Center. There's prizes, a breakfast, of course, and a picture with Santa. The deadline to register for Breakfast with Santa is November 24th, and it sells out every year, so go right now and get your tickets. Pancakes and Santa? What could be better than that? Except for elves and chocolate. Hmm, well, it's all good. Headwaters Corner right here in Calabasas is still recovering from the fire that ripped through it last summer. You can help out by attending the Mountains Trust Fire Recovery Project on November 18th from 9 a.m. to noon. You'll learn all about how they're trying to rebuild and learn how you can give a helping hand. Visit mountainstrust.org or citycalabasas.com for all the details. As you can see, this is an incredibly fun day. Go, guys, go! And make sure that you come back for the Calabasas Classic next year. Calabasas Classic is such a blast. I'm Lauren Nickerson. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you soon on The Buzz.